Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about Father's Day. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of Father's Day is Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 through 4. It says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you, and you may live long on the earth. You fathers, don't provoke your children to wrath, but nurture them in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of Father's Day is found in Proverbs chapter 23, verses 22 through 25. It says, Listen to your father who gave you life, and don't despise your mother when she is old. Buy the truth, and don't sell it. Get wisdom, discipline, and understanding. The father of the righteous has great joy. Whoever fathers a wise child delights in him. Let your father and your mother be glad. Let her who bore you rejoice. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Colossians chapter 3, verses 18 through 21. It reads, Wives, be in subjection to your husbands, as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives, and don't be bitter against them. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, don't provoke your children, so that they won't be discouraged. Passage number 4. This is from Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. The scripture says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old he will not depart from it. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Psalm chapter 103, verse 13. The Bible says, Like a father has compassion on his children, so Yahweh has compassion on those who fear him. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of Father's Day, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on Father's Day. Passage number 6 is from Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 through 9. It says, Here, Israel, Yahweh is our God. Yahweh is one. You shall love Yahweh your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. These words, which I command you today, shall be on your heart, and you shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them for a sign on your hand, and they shall be for frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in Psalm chapter 127, verses 3 through 5. The Bible says, Behold, children are a heritage of Yahweh. The fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. They won't be disappointed when they speak with their enemies in the gate. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of Father's Day is from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 11 through 12. It reads, My son, don't despise Yahweh's discipline, neither be weary of his correction, for whom Yahweh loves, he corrects, even as a father reproves the son in whom he delights. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from Hebrews chapter 12, verses 5 through 11. The passage states, You have forgotten the exhortation which reasons with you as with children, my son, don't take lightly the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when you are reproved by him, for whom the Lord loves, he disciplines, and chastises every son whom he receives. It is for discipline that you endure. God deals with you as with children, for what son is there whom his father doesn't discipline? But if you are without discipline, of which all have been made partakers, then you are illegitimate, and not children. Furthermore, we had the fathers of our flesh to chasten us, and we paid them respect. Shall we not much rather be in subjection to the Father of spirits and live? For they indeed for a few days disciplined us as seemed good to them, 
but he for our profit, that we may be partakers of his holiness. All chastening seems for the present to be not joyous but grievous, yet afterward it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of Father's Day is from Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. It says, Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long in the land which Yahweh your God gives you. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of Father's Day. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to Father's Day and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.